nothing has been given for roads. It is still with uh, with ne with uh, with uh, with Kera, uh, and and so on and so on. So no single road has been done. I mean, and, uh, unless some money has been can, can be given. The security aspect here, the government should have the national government should have crafted uh, security roads for them to be able to manage these warring communities. Mm -hmm. No road has been done that can be called a security road. So you even heard that uh, vehicles for red, for red Cross and ambulances and uh, the police vehicles are taking two to three days to maneuver through the valleys and, and the hills to get into that. This is not a flat area. The terrains that God gave us there are so challenging that when you reach there, you wonder what's happening. So to me, it is a serious, great goodwill from the national government to want to eliminate just like they did in Uganda. And there's no harm going to learn from a neighbor. And people, although we may call them primitive, when you tell them I've given you security, watch and see. Mm -hmm. Give me these things. That's mm -hmm. what Museveni did. Everybody okay. now surrendered. All right. And even forcefully decided to take part of his state lodge there. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll come back to you on the local government. We're still yeah. talking about the national government, yes. but I want to know what the local government is doing in that area to ensure that this is curbed, especially in terms of even intelligence and even informing the national government. I'll come back to you. But Andrew Franklin, um, Asman Kamama, the chair for the National Assembly and Security Committee, um, is on record uh, requesting for, you know, there to be more police and... Uh, but to hire more police reservists in that particular area. Do you think it's an issue of numbers, and especially given the vast size of the police? Well, it's not so much an issue of numbers as the fact that we are not implementing the National Police Service Act of 2011. End of story. Uh, the police, National Police Service Act of 2011 does have a chapter devoted to the Kenya Police Reserve, which is not being implemented at all. Mm -hmm. I, I think there is a... We keep dancing around the issues of why is it so difficult to give security to, to pastoral communities. Uh, can we talk about community policing, we send people away for seminars, but if we're not looking at our own law, if the Independent Policing Oversight Authority continues to say that the national police, national police are not organized to respond to intelligence, are not able to respond to incidents of insecurity, then we have a systemic breakdown. Mm -hmm. And now we're what, four years into a, a what has not been implemented well we haven't set up a Kenya police reserve we don't have a combined command structure between the administration police the regular police and CID uh, we haven't uh, 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 we haven't reorganized the, the various units of the administration police see unlike Uganda which collapsed after Idi Amin so the army uh, in the 70s army obviously had to take much more of a proactive role 